after three months of preparation, six full rewrites, and then as well as enough caffeine to c a small child, I finally finished the content Bible. And now that it's done, I have 100% confidence and I have no problem saying that this is probably going to be the most valuable YouTube video that you will ever watch. I think that this like 70 minute video is going to be more valuable than most of the social media coaches courses out there. I just don't see a world to where this video is not going to value you immensely. And if you implement what I give you, I promise you that you will get results. I'll let you be the judge and let's just go and get started. Welcome to the content Bible. Now, before I go any further, I want to go ahead and preference that this will not be an entertaining video. This isn't going to be one of my short form videos. There won't be any cool edits, entertaining hooks, or anything of the such. In this video, I will be mechanically breaking down on how to build your personal brand to 100k followers within six months. But not only how to build your personal brand, but how to monetize your product or service on autopilot by utilizing social media. So if you're looking for a video just to pass time, I promise you that there are better ones out there. But if you're looking to grow your shit on social and make money in the process, I promise you that this free YouTube video will be better than every single course that these social media guys will ever put out. And don't just take my word for it. Here are my credentials. On the date of October the 6th, I've grown my Instagram from zero to 270,000 followers within eight months. I have more viral educational videos than I can count. I've posted 127 videos and across those 127 videos, I've accumulated 33.5 million views. If you do the math, this means I average 260,000 views per video, which is pretty much unheard of. In fact, it is so unheard of that if you were to take literally any social media coach and average out their views per video and then multiply whatever that number is by two, that number quite literally wouldn't even be half of mine. But that's not the craziest part. You can literally take three social media coaches, no matter who they are, and average out all three of their views per video and then combine whatever number that is and it still wouldn't even be close to mine. But just to show you that this wasn't a fluke and that I can do it for other people, including you, here's one of my past clients named Christian. Within five months, we took Christian's account from zero followers and a brand new account all the way to 130,000 followers within these five months. Literally the first ever video that we helped him create almost got a million views. But maybe that was a fluke. Let's look at another client. This is Brian, another account that we took from zero followers all the way to 23,000 followers within two and a half months. But maybe it was a fluke. So let's look at another Brian. We took this Brian, more specifically, Brian Mark, from 20,000 followers to 85,000 followers in just six months. And of course, who gives a shit about views? Brian and Mark went from only making 800K a month to a million a month within that time period. But maybe that was just a fluke. I've even coached other social media coaches from zero to 65K followers in just four months. I can do this for a while, but let's stop it here. Let's talk about who this video is meant for. If you sell a digital offer slash service through the internet, but want to sell more of it at a higher price while doing less work, you can keep watching. If you run an online business with a digital offer and want to add an extra 20 to 50K monthly revenue within the next 90 days without having to spend any money to acquire new customers, you can keep watching. If you're competent in your area of expertise, have results proving it, and want to package your expertise and sell it at a premium pricing while leads flock to you, and want to package your expertise to sell it at a premium pricing while leads flock to your funnel on autopilot, you can keep watching. If you are willing to take the time to build an evergreen personal brand that will pay you dividends for the rest of time, and a lot of people would say yes, they are committed to building a personal brand, but very few are willing to do what it takes. So if you're not afraid of learning a new skill and putting in the work, you can keep watching. So now that you know that this video is for you, here's what the content Bible entails. It entails the media starter kit, which will be your content creation hub to organize and systemize your content. It entails the content creation principles, which will simplify your content strategy into three different components. It entails content market research, giving you the timeless blueprint to generating infinite content ideas. It entails creating a viral video, explaining the proven formula to creating viral education videos. It entails finding an editor, giving you the complete guide to finding a professional and affordable video editor. It entails growth hackers, which will optimize your posts for more engagement. And lastly, it entails monetizing your audience, giving you the blueprint to inevitably convert viewers into customers. So without further ado, let's open up the first page of the content Bible. The media starter kit that we're about to give you is going to be your content creation hub. This is how you're going to organize and systemize the entire A through C content creation process in Notion. Taking you from having absolutely no idea on what you even want to create a video about to scheduling out your mechanical engineered viral video onto your content calendar. So with that being said, go ahead and get your media starter kit by just going ahead and clicking here. Or if you want to, you can just click the link in the YouTube description below. Now we will be using the media starter kit later in the video. So just go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and grab it. Now in this video, I'm not going to go over the whole media starter kit just for the time purposes of this video. 
I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview and then move on to the rest of the content Bible. All right, like I said, this is going to be a quick overview. However, at the top of the page here, if you click on the toggle list at the video tutorial, this video tutorial will take you through all the ins and outs of the Meteor Starter Kit. This video is a must watch after you get done watching this YouTube video. Plus, if you watch this video, there's also a little gift that you'll find. Anyways, let's move on to the overview. All right, so under the video tutorial, you have my quote, when creativity flows, even the universe stops to admire. And then under that, you have your navigation tab. As you might assume, these are the list of buttons that'll help you navigate through the Meteor Starter Kit. So let's start off by making a new post. And then once you make a new post, you can choose from four video templates. We're gonna go with the Disney template. And as you can see, it gives you pretty much everything you need, including the structure of the video template that we give you. We'll get into this in a longer video tutorial. But anyways, you can go ahead and just back back out. And now that you created a new post, you'll see it's in your content tracker. You have five different video statuses to track. You have your draft, you have your ready to record, you have the editing stage, you have the ready to post, and then you have the post. Posted. And then you can also schedule all your content. So if we go back to the Disney templates and open it in a quick view, we can go to the top property, target post dates, and then click on empty. And then let's say we want to schedule this post for the 19th. So now that we have it scheduled for the 19th, we can exit the quick view and then we can find the monthly view. And as you can see, it is scheduled out for the 19th. And then back to the navigation buttons, you have the creator list, which we'll go through later on in the video. You have your hook library, which will give you 50 viral hooks that you can copy and use on your next video. And then you have the video template library, basically giving you a structure for your script to ensure you record a quality video. And then you have the Media Mastery Send button. We'll get into that a little bit later. But that is the overall quick view. So now let's move on to the most important portion of the content Bible, content creation principles. If you watch a bunch of videos on how to go on social media, you're gonna hear a lot of bullshit to making content creation more complicated than it actually is. I can promise you that you don't need to use trending hashtags, you don't need to use trending sounds, and anybody telling you different is trying to sell you some shit or lying to you. Content creation can literally be simplified into three things. And these three things are the only three things that you need to focus on. These three things are V and B. Value oriented niched down and a broadened niche these are the only three things that you need to focus on whenever it comes to creating content so let's expand on the vnb starting off with making your content value oriented as cliche as it sounds social media is just a game to win the world's attention and the creators that give the most value to the world wins that game now realistically you're not kim kardashian no one really gives a fuck about you or what you're doing people only truly care about what they can benefit from you for example sit there and think about why you're watching this video the point of this being give out your best value for free and if you don't know what a valuable video looks like here's the valuable video checklist that i abide by for pretty much all of my videos first being you must give actionable tips that someone can take and implement within 24 hours and get some sort of noticeable results from second being it must abide by the five dollar rule would you pay five dollars for the information within your video if the answer is no then it's probably not a good video and last on the checklist number three it has to be niche related which brings us to the next parts of the vnb structure you need to niche down 80 percent of the social media gurus will tell you to not niche down they tell you to go broad and post about yourself and your interests and your dog and just shit that people don't care about personally i think that's fucking stupid literally the only reason why they're telling you this is because they themselves cannot get views on their niche videos let me ask you this would you rather have a hundred thousand views on a video you posted about a funny story of yours or would you rather get a hundred thousand views on a niche video of you displaying your competence and your expertise can promise you that one of those videos is going to make you a shit ton more money than the other. Realistically, the only reason why you would ever go broad with your videos is because your niche videos aren't getting enough attention. And to that, I say do not compensate for the short term, improve for the long term. If you want to grow your personal brand exponentially and make a shit ton of money in the process, you need to become the niche. Think about it. You don't know me as Devin Jatt though. You know me as the content guy. And that's because I became the niche. Alex Ramosi, he became the gym owner niche. And then he became the increased conversion niche. And then he became the general business niche. Another example, Grant Cardone. He became the real estate niche. You need to niche down and become the niche. Now I'm sure you're probably thinking this all sounds great, but how do I get views on my niche content? And to that, I would answer with the last part of the VNB. You need to broaden your niche. The biggest mistake that I see entrepreneurs make whenever they first start creating content is that they only focus on creating videos to target their ideal client. Now, of course, we're all trying to grow a business, not become a fucking celebrity. So it makes logical sense to create content only targeting the people who can pay you. But the sad part is you can't. That's the algorithm's job. However, you can use the algorithm to your advantage. Let's say you make a short form video and naturally the hook to your video is, if you're a mom and you want to lose 20 pounds in just three months, watch this video. Obviously, this video would be directed to your ideal client let's imagine 1000 people watch that video and five percent of the viewers that watch that video are overweight moms that's 50 ideal clients watching your video 
Now let's look at it from a different angle. In this example, you're still a fitness coach that targets overweight moms. But let's say for your short form video, your hook was this. If you want to lose fat and build muscle, here are three secret workouts that'll do just that. Now that video is directed towards a person who wants to lose fat and build muscle, which is fucking everybody on the planet. So now this video appeals to a much broader audience, which means naturally it'll get more reach. So let's say this video with the broader hook gets around 50,000 views, but instead of 5% of the viewers being your idle client, let's say it's only 2%. That's 1,000 idle clients that just watched your video, which is 950 more than your targeted video. So yeah, you need to broaden your niche and who you're targeting. For example, let's look at one of my clients in Media Mastery. This is Christian and he sells an affiliate marketing program. But even though he sells a program teaching affiliate marketing, he has never, ever, ever started off his video talking about affiliate marketing. He always starts off his videos talking about how to make more money because that is a broader niche. Not everyone wants to start affiliate marketing. However, most of the people in the world want to know how to make more money. And you can even see this in my own content. I don't create content about how to grow your business on social media. I create content on how to grow your social media. I create content on how anyone can grow their social media. Not everyone has an online product or service that fits the criteria to join my program Media Mastery. However, everyone wants more followers. And within that really broad group of people, I find my ideal clients, which is why you need to focus on the VNB. Make your content value oriented, niche down and become that niche, and then broaden that niche. And now that we've gone over the content creation principles, it's time to begin our content market research. Now, there's only a few things that I want to ingrain deep into your brain whenever it comes to creating content. And one of these things is the following quote. If you steal from one author, it's plagiarism. If you steal from many, it's research. Let that sit in for a second. Everything is a remix of what's already been created. And the best way to perform on social media is to get inspiration from what's already working. Don't try to throw shit at the wall and attempt to reinvent the game. Instead, learn the rules to the game and then abuse them to win. You need to find content ideas that have already proven to perform well on social media. And to do so, there are two main platforms to look at. And as you might have guessed, these platforms are Instagram and TikTok. We're going to use these platforms to find and document creators within your niche that are already doing well on social media. And then we're going to look for the highest performing videos. That way we can research. Now for this, you're going to want to open up your media starter kit and then find your way to the creator list page. This is where we will be documenting all the creators and ideas that we find during our research. So assuming that you already know some creators who are doing well within your niche, pause the video and then add those creators to your creator list. For example, I'll add one of the Media Mastery coaches, Steven Miller, to this list because his content performs quite well. All right, now that you're done dumping those creators onto your list, let's begin with your research. Now, like I said, there are two main platforms that are the best for finding ideas and creators, Instagram and TikTok. Now, whenever it comes to ideation, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that TikTok is easily the better option out of the two. So let's begin there. First, you want to search up some common keywords that would describe your niche. It's not rocket science. For me, it would be content marketing. Once the results pop up, just scroll through the search until you see a video that pops out to you. Watch a couple of those videos and keep scrolling until you find a creator that is clearly a good creator to get inspiration from. Once you find that person, go ahead and open up their account. For example, I was scrolling through my search and I found this video by Steven Miller. So we're just going to go ahead and open up his account. Now that you're on the creator's account, you want to sort their videos from most viewed to least viewed. That way you can find the best performing ideas on this creator's account. For this, just download the Chrome extension sort for TikTok. You can either click the link here or just go to the Google Chrome extension store and then search for sort for TikTok. Once you have the tool installed to your Google Chrome, go ahead and fire it up and then sort the creator's views from most viewed to least viewed. So as you can see, these videos perform quite well for Steven. So I'm going to go back to the media starter kit and in the creator list page, I'm going to open up the individual Steven Miller's page that we made at the beginning whenever we were dumping all the creators that we already knew and then copy and paste the links to the top 10 performing ideas that i want to derive inspiration from so for example i really like this idea so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy it over to the video link tab so for example i really like steven's idea on how to get more story views so i'm going to take this idea to his individual page and then name this idea boost more story views I'm going to write out the topic, which is social media, and then in the video link category, just go ahead and copy and paste the link to the video. Now, once you have your 10 or more ideas from the creator that you're currently researching, then go ahead and rinse and repeat this process until the wheels fall off. Now, I will say after a while of doing this, it will get harder and harder to find more creators. When that happens, then you want to start looking at who those creators are following because typically they follow people within their niche. Now, you can do this on TikTok. Just go to the person's account and then click on their following, or typically they just follow a bunch of funny cat accounts. So I would say this is where you want to move your research over to Instagram. Most of every creator has their Instagram linked to their TikTok. So you can literally just click their link and begin looking through their following on Instagram. After a bit of scrolling through their following on Instagram, you'll notice that it's pretty clear. You'll see pretty clearly on who is someone that you need to take a look at and who's not, solely based off their Instagram display name. Now, the reason why Instagram probably isn't the best platform for inspiration 
It's because there's not an easy way on how to sort Instagram Reels videos from most viewed to least viewed. There are a couple ways by using the tool Talk Backup and then utilizing some of the AI accelerators that we have within our program, but that's a different topic for a different day. Once the method drives out of scrolling through the creator's followers, you could use the same search prompts that you used on TikTok to find new creators that way on the Instagram search. But honestly, the search engine on Instagram is pretty bad, so I wouldn't waste too much time on that. But once it's all said and done, you should have around 20 creators on your creator list with at least 10 really solid video inspirations from each creator. That is literally 200 video ideas. You're welcome. But now that you have all these video inspirations, you need to script them out, which moves us to creating a viral video. But now that we got that out of the way, let's get into explaining the proven formula to creating viral educational videos. Creating an educational viral video is literally a two-step equation, and it's really fucking simple. Peak interest plus deliver value equals viral educational video. Now, is that easier said than done? 100%. But is it really that simple? Also, 100%. So let's start with the first part of the equation, peak interest. There's no reason to overcomplicate content creation. You peak the viewer's interest with your hook. Now, lucky for you, there are 50 viral hooks to get to you within your media starter kit. But back to peaking the interest of your viewers, there are a bunch of different ways you can do this. I think in Media Mastery, we go over 17 different hook types, but in this video, we're going to go over the main three. You have your negative hook, you have your desirable hook, and then you have your controversial hook. And here's an example of all three. A negative hook is just speaking to an uncomfortable emotion or situation. A desirable hook is just speaking to an ideal emotion or situation. And a controversial hook is either validating or challenging someone's opinion. But if those definitions aren't clear enough, here are some examples. A negative hook would look something like, you are never going to lose weight by eating like a fat ass. And then you have your desirable hook. Here are three secret workouts that will sculpt you into looking like a Greek god. And lastly, you have the controversial hook. No matter what these fitness gurus tell you, you cannot spot reduce belly fat. And there you go. It's that fucking easy. Now those three are what you call verbal hooks. But just using a verbal hook won't get the job done anymore on social media. You need to accompany your verbal hook with a visual hook. The reason why is because 65% of people claim that they are visual learners. And for men, that number is even higher. The hook that's written out on the screen Screen, I would argue is more important than your verbal hook. Here's what the verbal hooks look like accompanied by a visual hook. Now to create a visual hook, it's quite simple. All you need is one power word, which is an emotional driving word. So for example, stupid, if I called you stupid, you would have some sort of emotion towards it. The words on screen need to be between four and seven words. There needs to be one graphic, either representing what they're going to learn in the video, barring the interest of something that's more popular than you, which is what I did for this hook. I don't really know what this cartoon is called, but I know it's popular. Or the graphic needs to represent an emotion from your video. And then this isn't in a normal visual hook but if you do have a series video then you want to put the series number or the series part and that is it all you need is a good verbal hook and a good visual hook over a good topic and you will pique someone's interest so now that we picked the viewer's interest let's move on to the second part of the equation deliver value now you can deliver value in a million different ways but again let's go over the top three main ways you can do a step-by-step -step, which are quick hacks alternative options or how-to videos you can give insights which are trends mistake to avoid and the wisdom within your expertise that you've gained over the years and then three, tools and resources. This could be literally almost anything, whether it's a website, an application, or a niche utilization. By niche utilization, I mean, um, let's say, for example, for me, it would be the camera. That, that's a piece of equipment that I bought. If you're a fitness trainer, for example, it might be a adjustable dumbbell that you use. Just any kind of tool or resource that will bring value to your audience. And that's it. It's that fucking simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Viral video formula, peak interest plus deliver value equals viral educational video. But of course, you're going to need someone to edit these viral videos which brings us to finding an editor let's walk through the guide on how to find an affordable and also more importantly a professional video editor for your content this is by far the hardest part of creating educational content now don't get me wrong finding an editor is easy almost a little bit too easy but finding an editor that can visually depict your ideas and thoughts in a qualitative manner now that's fucking hard now i'm not going to try to pitch my shit but i do know a lot of you guys will ask yes we do offer editing services if you do want to skip this part you know where to find me, just give me the word editing and we'll go from there. But back to the point, here's exactly how you're going to find a diamond in the rough video editor to professionally edit your videos. All right, so Facebook is always going to be a decent and reliable way to find your video editor. Now there are two ways that you can recruit editors from Facebook. You can either A, join a bunch of editor Facebook groups and post job postings, or B, you can steal the applicants from other job postings. Or if you're feeling frisky, you can do both. Either way, you need to join as many relevant editor Facebook groups as possible. And of course, we want good work for cheap. So whenever you're searching for a Facebook group, I would always try to target Philippine editors or Indian editors. So let's start with searching Philippines editor at the top left. All right, and then we're going to filter out the search by groups. So right here. And as you can see, there are a bunch of Facebook editor groups from the Philippines that you can go recruit from. All right, so what you want to do from here is you want to apply to as many groups as possible. 
Now, me personally, I always fill out the application as if I'm the editor. And I do this because firstly, I notice that I get accepted at a much faster and higher rate. And that's just because some of these groups want to be video editing groups. They don't want it to be a, a job posting or a recruitment channel. They just want it to be video editing. All right, so once you're here, all you want to do is pretty much apply to every single group that you can and join as many as possible. So for example, I'll just click join. And then from that, I will have some sort of application that I need to fill out. Typically, you need to fill it out as if you're an editor. Yes, you're going to have to fake that you're an editor to be able to post job postings within the groups. And then once you fill out the applications, just go ahead and submit and then do this for as many groups as possible. Then whenever you get accepted, it's time to start posting your jobs. Once you're sitting on the Facebook group homepage, all you want to do is just scroll down just a tad and then you'll see this little tab here, write something. Just go ahead and click that. And then from there, you can type out your job posting. Now in Media Master, you spend a lot of time creating a structure that I cannot give you. However, I will tell you that you do need to include pay in the job description somewhere. And I would always give them a range of pay instead of just a set price. But anyways, once you're done typing out your job posting, then you can go ahead and post it and you're good to go. Rinse and repeat your job posting into other groups and then sit back and then wait for the good talent to reach out to you. Now, if you want a little bit more of a proactive approach that takes a little bit more time, but is much, much more optimal, then you can still applicants of other job postings. So in whatever Facebook groups you joined, search for some of these keywords that are on the screen here. For example, I'm going to search for the word portfolio. So as you can see, there are editors that will sit here and post their portfolios within other people's comments. And then from that, you can pretty much pick out your favorite editors and then message them your job posting that you made beforehand. And then if they're interested from the job posting, then you can just send over a quick form. And then from that form, you will be able to see if they're a good fit or not. So as you can see, you can go through literally all the other job postings that people are creating and then look through the comments and see who's posting their portfolios. So this one looks pretty solid. So what we can do is we can open up the comments. And after a lot of time and a lot of pain, you will eventually find your diamond in the rough. So now that you have a viral video and it's been edited by a professional editor, let's optimize the posting of this video. There's about 24 growth hackers in Media Mastery, and out of those 24, I'm going to give you two of my favorites. Best time to post and video SEO. Now, the best time to post is only applicable and relevant to Instagram, but for every other platform, it practically doesn't really matter whenever you post. And then you have the video SEO, and this is a game changer no matter what platform you're posting on. Now, no matter what, the best time to post on Instagram is always going to be when your followers are the most active, preferably around 40 minutes before your peak follower activity. This gives your followers time to give that new video that you just posted the initial track that it needs kind of like slingshotting it into the algorithm so here's how you can check it all right so just go ahead and go over to your profile view and then from there go to professional dashboard once you're in your professional dashboard go and click on total followers and then from there scroll all the way down if i click on the little blue bar sir it will tell me exactly how many followers are active at that time i always look at my peak time as 9 a.m just because that's whenever the initial trend of exponential activity starts to go up a little bit so what i do is i do 40 minutes before 9 a.m which is 8 20. so yeah look for your peak time and it's really that simple i mean you can go through the different days and see if the peak times changes most of the time if you have a really big following typically the peak time is always going to be the same so now that you know your best time to post let's move on to your videos seo now your videos seo is easily the most important growth hacker seo will not only optimize your posts for keywords that are often searched seo will also assist the algorithm in identifying on who to share your content to so if we were to take a second to look at one of my clients most recent videos let's use brian mark for example we'll search up three words never to say on sales call. So as you can see, our client Brian is ranking first for the SEO keywords for never to say these three words on sales calls. So you'll see he pops up first, pops up second. Now, sadly, we lost third. Uh, official Matt got that one, but we are fourth. And what you'll notice is that we don't even have the most attention on our videos. This one is only 50K, but this one down here has 780K. It's not about who gets the most views. It's about who has the best SEO. So let's talk about it. Now, there are a bunch of different SEO tactics that you can use. For example, you can change the name of your file. That way your video can rank in meta tags and blah, blah, blah. But the only thing that you really need to focus on is the description of your video. Now, the description of your video should be split into three different parts. Your caption hook, your short keyword summary, and your hashtag selection. So starting off with your caption hook, it should only consist of a max of 30 characters. It should be a short and intention grabbing one line summary about what the video is about. And of course, a depicting emoji alongside it. And your caption hook should be really exaggerated and then as well as really polarizing. And within your caption hook, you need to hit one of two subjects. Either it needs to be controversial or it needs to be desirable. So for example, a controversial caption hook would be do this to stay poor. And then a desirable example would be money glitch in the matrix. Now, once you have your caption hook down, you want to move on to your short keyword summary. And this is the meat and potatoes of your description. Now in this summary, you want to write a four to five line keyword summary using the most keywords as possible. Now to find these keywords, you've got to use a TikTok strategy. That way you're able to see what other people are searching for within your niche. So what you want to do is you want to open up your TikTok on your phone. You can't 
and do this on desktop. From here, just go over to home and then click on the search bar. Now that you're here, all you want to do is search for a niche that best represents your video. So for example, for me, that's typically social media marketing. Cool. And then from there, I'll just go ahead and click search. Cool. You'll see all these videos pop up, but I don't care. The only thing that I'm looking for is for this section right here that says others searched for. This will literally give you all the most popular search terms within whatever niche that you looked up. All right. So from that, you want to go ahead and screenshot this and then write down every single one of these keywords, whether it's on a piece of paper, whether it's on Notion, whatever. You just want to write down every single one of these keywords. Now on a piece of paper or on Notion or however you like to take notes, now you want to take all the search prompts and then put them into your keyword summary. But you need to do it as a quick summary, not as a keyword sprint. So basically, you just want to summarize your post by using as many of these search prompts as possible. Now, once you're done with your summary, all you have to do is select your hashtags. Now, hashtags are kind of tricky. I don't think that they do much. However, they are good hygiene. Now, the hashtags that you want to choose for your video typically depends on your video and what audience you want your videos to be shown to. Now, to find your hashtags, we're going to do nothing new. Just look for the videos that are already performing within your industry. For example, if you're a fitness business coach, you can search online trainer and then click on the top five most popular videos. Once you go through the five most popular videos, just look for common hashtags that fit your criteria and then you can choose from there. Now, the structure that I recommend is three broad hashtags and three narrower niche hashtags. And you don't have to stick to the structure, but it is a good starting point. And also, whenever you're choosing your hashtags, keep in mind that you're most likely be repurposing across platforms. So don't ever choose a platform based hashtag such as sales talk or business talk. So here's an example for a fitness business coach. So the broad hashtags would be online coach, online business, and then as well as entrepreneur. And then the narrow niche hashtags would be fitness trainer, fitness coach, and then as well as personal trainer. Now just combine these three together and you'll have a perfectly search engine optimized description or caption or whatever you really want to call it. You made a viral video, then you had it professionally edited, and then you optimized it to get the best possible performance. Now it's time to monetize your incoming audience. Let's go ahead and begin with going over the blueprint to inevitably turn viewers into customers. Now, in this part of the video, I could have just chosen from the million different monetization strategies that we created for Media Mastery. Things like CTA conversion tactics, advertisement models, content CRM automations, content funnel structures, and blah, blah, blah. But in reality, there's only one component that matters more than any strategy that I could give you. And without this one component, none of the monetization strategies that I would give you would work in the first place. Without this one component, the whole operation of building your personal brand will fail. And this component is value. If the value that you provide in your videos is actually good, then nothing else fucking matters. I promise you that no matter how you monetize, people will find a way to buy your shit if you can display that you're as good as you say you are. And I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but stay with me. If you can understand what I'm about to explain to you, this will almost instantaneously make you exponentially more money from your content. Now, as you probably know, consumers buy off the pre-assumption of further value. So to circle back to creating a viral video, all you're doing is speaking their interest and attempt for them to pre-assume that your video is going to be more valuable than the investment of their time and attention. And that's the first battle, and it's a harder one to win. But if you win that battle, then you win will the war. If you're able to keep creating videos that viewers deem more valuable than their investment of time and attention, eventually you'll build up so much pre-assumed value of what you actually subscriber price to also known as your product no matter the size of their investment into your product your viewers will have no choice but to pre-assume that your product is more valuable than the price of the product itself to put this in caveman terms giving out good free shit equals curiosity towards your paid shit in fact, it's exactly what I'm doing to you right now. Whenever I introduced the media starter kits on my stories, I told you guys that it would be the tip of the iceberg in comparison to the content Bible. And I'd say I fulfilled that promise. The content Bible is just the tip of the iceberg in comparison to media mastery. Now, don't get me wrong. Everything in this video is really all you need. I wanted to make the content Bible to give everyone a chance to get access to good information that will undoubtedly get them results. And with that being said, if you implement everything that I gave you within this video and to actually give your effort, I promise you that you will get results. However, there's levels to this shit. If you want to accelerate your learning to the new skill of content creation, if you want to accelerate the time in which it takes to get results, and if you want to accelerate the time that it takes to create content, then Media Mastery will do exactly that no matter what stage you're at. Whether you're looking for a course, whether you're looking for a program, or whether you're looking to private access to me. I've never shared what we offer on the internet before, but that's the first time for everything. But starting off with the first thing that we offer, the Media Mastery course. If all you want is knowledge, direction, and strategy on how to create the best content possible, teaching you all the ins and outs, including in-depth step-by-step teachings and plug-and-play templates for your content, then this is for you. We have a coursing platform with over 40 modules breaking down literally everything you could ever possibly want from a content creation course. And just to add icing onto the cake, you also receive the Media OS. After servicing 180 videos every single week for our agency, 
We took all of our perfected systems and processes and created the best content creation operating system on the internet. This includes things like 1000 viral hook templates, an editor's dashboard to collaborate with all of your editors. You even get what we call AI accelerators. And this is where shit gets a little bit crazy. We have AI accelerators that will literally script out your entire video. We have AI accelerators that will automatically write out the best possible description for your video's SEO. And we even have AI accelerators that will simplify your script for easier viewer consumption. Pretty much everything you could ever think of this course covers. And everything that you've never even thought about, this course teaches. So if that is something that you're interested in, feel free to message me the word course on Instagram and we'll go from there. But maybe you don't want to do it by yourself. Maybe that's just not your style. And if that's you, then I'd say you're really going to like the Media Mastery Program, which is why we created the Media Mastery Program. That way you don't have to do it by yourself. The Media Mastery Program is a very private group of high-performing individuals all aimed towards the same goal, making a shit ton of money from their content. Now, whenever you join this program, of course, you still receive the Media Mastery course course and as well as the media OS. But that's only scratching the surface. Here's just a couple of the benefits of becoming a media master. Starting the list off with weekly Q&As with of course yours truly. In these weekly Q&As we constantly go over social media changes, new content strategies, and exclusive media mastery content. In these Q&As you're able to ask as many questions as your heart desires and get to complete clarity for your content journey. Next on the list is the weekly care package. Every single Monday you receive a weekly care package. Of course, I want my members to be up to date with all the content trends. So in these care packages, you receive the following. Every single week, you get 25 viral hooks, you get 15 visual hooks, you get five unique money-making call to actions, and so much more. Moving on to the last thing on this list, probably being the most valuable thing within the whole program, daily video critiques. Every single day, you're allowed to upload one video into the video review portal. Now in this portal, me or another social media coach within the program will leave live feedback on your videos every single day, pretty much giving you an infinite feedback loop. And with that comes constant improvement. So if you're someone who wants clear direction, a community of like-minded individuals all working towards the same goal, and you want to direct action us to get coached by the best then this is for you oh and i almost forgot media masters are the only people on the planet that get access to the creator bundle and i look at the creator bundle as a time travel machine for content of course in the media mastery course i will teach you how to find ideas how to find the best editor giving you all the best job posting platforms and job forms and etc and also how to do your videos seo however that takes time and some people want to buy their time back while still making 10x on their investments from their content sales so for those who just want to be the face of the brand and not really worry about anything else whenever it comes to creating content, we handle it. In the Creator Bundle, you receive 28 videos a month edited by our professionals. You receive 15 ideas every single week that are tailored to you and your niche by our content researchers. And we even do the SEO for every single one of your posts. That way, all you have to do is open up your media OS and have videos to post with captions to copy and paste. So if you're interested in becoming a media master, feel free to message me the word program on Instagram and we'll go from there. And then you have those who just want direct access to me. Now, this is for people who really prefer the VIP service. This, of course, includes everything that was mentioned before, but it's much different. I can't disclose what this includes. However, if this is you, you know it's you. Feel free to message me the word private and we'll take care of you. And lastly, we do have a bonus offer and we call it the Media Bundle. If you're not really interested in learning the skill of consecration and you really just want the creator bundle, then this is for you. The media bundle is the exact same thing as the creator bundle, except you're just not a part of the media mastery program. And in case you forgot, this includes 28 professionally edited videos, 15 tailored ideas sent to you every single week. That's 28 videos a month, by the way, and perfect SEO for every single video. The only difference between the creator bundle and the media bundle is just the price. Because you're not a media master, you will pay a higher price for the media bundle. But if all you want is to wake up with professional videos handed to you, feel free to message me the words media bundle and we'll take care of you. So like I said, no matter what stage you're at, we'll meet you there. Anyways, if you made it this far, I just want to say that I appreciate everything that you all have done for me. And of course, if you haven't noticed, this was a sales video for me. This is pretty much the only time that I've ever mentioned my service in a video, and I've had this business for about a year now. I hope that you found value in this video, and I promise you that if you implement what I gave you, you will see results. But with that being said, let's end it off from that signature CTA. As always, subscribe for more value.